Good afternoon, this is Sanjay Agarwal. As I just mentioned, we were at the Virasit. This is an annual event. So this is being hosted by Fiki today and Teamworks. Uh, I have Ekta with me. Uh, she's a writer, she's an author, and she's just released her book recently. So today she was here for this uh, exchange. Uh, means we have held se several workshop kind of you know seminars. So it's now to Ekta. She'll introduce herself. When did you start writing and uh, what is your latest book? Yeah. When did I start writing? I think that goes back to class one when we were taught the alphabet. Okay. <laughs> writing means as I an author. No, I was just joking. Um, I think I always like to tell stories. And in school, um, my favorite uh, subject was English literature because we got to write essays where there was really no rules. You were given a topic and you could just write. So I think uh, if you ask me where it started, it goes back a long way. Lovely. But um, like you mentioned, I think events like this is important. The yes. reason I'm here today also is because uh, it says mapping creativity. And Fiki brings in economics, brings in artists. You need to marry all of that. I think especially in our country, very the often. Of yes, everything. Yes. The blend. Yes. Because despite my love for English literature, uh, I actually did fairly, my education was fairly conventional. Uh, I did finance and marketing and MBA and Did all the boring. studied in India? Yes, okay. yes. So where did you study? Where did you go to school? Uh, school was in Calcutta. Calcutta, uh, wow. Part of my heart. So I did what my... What La Martina or something? Loretta House. Oh, you're familiar with Calcutta. <laughs> How lovely. Tali Bangla te kotha bulte fa. I'm born Bengali, but uh, yeah. it's just uh, very little of, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so please go ahead. No, so my academic background is I did my chartered accountancy, which is all maths and finance and tax and, you know, not very artistic. Then I did my MBA, which again marries uh, the business side of things. And very often in my journey, I was often asked this, why arts now? And you did something different. And I keep trying to explain that they're married. In us as individuals, it's not two distinct things. Um, they kind of fuse and make us who we are. So, which is why I, I, this conference is fantastic. Great. Because um, now coming to your book, which is just released. So, if you can tell us about the title and what does it uh, contain, you know, we'll read it. But uh, since you're promising to read it, that's a big sure, one. Yeah, I'll write a review. <laughs> now, I. So it's called Box of Lies. Uh, it, is, it is a fiction that is set in um, around 1947, the partition of India. I mean, that is the backdrop of the book, but the story really is about, um, essentially follows the lives of two women who are very different. One of them is a courtesan uh, at a quota, and she is fiercely independent. She is almost like a proto-feminist in some kinds, who follows her heart, follows her mind. Her survival instincts are really strong. And despite being marginalized, she's truly free. Yes. And on the other side is uh, Sitara. Uh, Rasili is the courtesan, and Sitara is a patriarchal setup. She's a daughter in law. She has to conform to her expectations. Part of a Zamindar landlord family or something. A rich uh, aristocratic, uh, yes, where there are expectations, you're weighed down. However, both the women kind of fight to be who they are. Uh, I, I like that about the book. So the context really, it is a love story, but um, the focus is not so much love. It's really on the journey of these two women who are trying to, to fulfill their needs, their desires, express who they are without uh, survive in some sense. Okay, great. And uh, this book is in English now. Yes. Yeah, and uh, I just want to know, like, uh, uh, the general, everybody who wants to today, either they're going on Kindle, you know? It is, so it is available, available both as a paperback as well okay, as an It's available, and uh, uh, we're not giving in the uh, plot, you know, full. We've given it, but we're not giving you know, in. No, it's yeah. murder mystery. I haven't given anything. Yeah, yeah. It's so, not. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, so. Uh, at the end of it, I would uh, request people who are watching that go on to the uh, Google and search for her book there and uh, place an order. Uh, yeah. Thank you, you're doing my promo for me, yeah. I have to thank you. If you would have given your handle or something, you can always tell. Right, I mean, if you search for Ekta Kumar, uh, it kind of comes up. I have a so website. this is your first book? This is my first okay. book. I do write for some newspapers and I am a television journalist. I Great. kind of... Wonderful. But this is my first uh, book of fiction. So. Today we've also extended Ekta the invitation to write for our uh, news portal. It's kind of a blog. So we have a lot of eminent women writing for us. We put in an article, say, how to tackle crime against women. Right. So there were 13 women. So it becomes a running article. You know, on the right. internet, you can always add your posts. Right. 
And, so um, I do a lot of work with the EU on human rights and uh, gender is a big uh, part really. of it. So we should actually talk yeah, about sure, this offline. Sure. And last yeah. minute, uh, we have 90 seconds for you. Just what's your takeaway from this Varasat today? 90 seconds, I yeah. could go on and no, on. but yes, <laughs> Everybody, we have to get into this. No, no, I'm joking again. I, I think like we mentioned, I mean, uh, we need more conferences like this that bring together art and science and bring together creativity and intellect and don't make that distinction and see how we can best as a society move forward. Because the fact is, like, like I was talking to someone in the morning, it is only culture that truly has the power, the soft power to bind the world. Yes. The world is divisive in many ways. Uh, there are agendas everywhere, but when it comes to culture and tradition, it is something that is easy to understand. Sure. So I think that's what like uh, uh, means when we are talking. Means I remember my father was from BHU, so the first time I heard was about this Vasudeva Kutumbam. That is about uh, Pandit Madan Moon Malviji. You know, set up uh, this uh, Banaras Hindu University, yes. the Kashi Vishwavidyalaya. Now it's kind of. Uh, these words have been taken, you know, by our Prime Minister and now they are setting in the context of the world, one earth, one family, one future. But uh, as we were talking to other people, so some people are feeling that the things are uh, really not getting into the society. What we bring, uh, what we need is to bring that cultural change, the mindset has to change. As a society, we need to grow up, you know. It's, yeah. that and second, I think we also need reminders from where we came sure, from, sure, you know. Yeah. So, uh, like you mentioned, that simple phrase itself is something we've heard as children, but you tend to forget. Yeah. Do you so do poetry as well? I think we're all poets in our okay, hearts. Okay, no, so you want, to, you want to just, I felt you want to uh, sing a poem for us? No, it's very personal at okay. the moment. But <laughs> okay, we'll do it some other day. Yes. Uh, so, thank you. Uh, he's our dear friend who's helping us with the shoot. And uh, thank, thank you, Ekta, once again. This is Sanjay Agarwal signing off. Thank you. Good. You take my number, you. yeah?